What's going on guys? It's Quizzy Dog here and in today's video we're going to be going over exactly how to update the drive and the storage on your PS5. This could be a crucial step for you considering you don't really get a whole lot on the console and at the end of the day the release schedule is finally ramping up as soon as this coming February providing there's no further delays. So having like 600 gigabytes especially if you're a Warzone player and taking up like another 200 gigabytes with that game they included like 400 remaining gigabytes out of the 600 after the OS just really isn't enough now in today's video we're going to be going over the drive that I've selected which is the XPG s70 blade and we're going to be going over exactly how to install an NVMe heatsink. Now this is a vital and important step because even though the blade does come with a heat shield it's just a little piece of aluminum and I've heard that memory modules are burning out, things are happening, so if you're grabbing this which right now is actually rated like the most affordable and the fastest NVMe that's certified for the PS5, spend like the extra 10, 11 bucks, links are in the description, and grab yourself an NVMe Caddy. So we're gonna install this on today's video, right after we go over how you guys can save money with today's video sponsor. If you guys are looking for an affordable Windows 10 key, then you need to do yourselves a favor and check out VIPSCDKey.com. Using the link within the description below, as well as the coupon code GG20, you will have yourselves a brand new Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key for as little as $15.82. What are you waiting for? Use that link within the video description and thank you VIP SCD key for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so here are all the components for your NVMe SSD upgrade or for at least mine. So again, we do have this guy here. This is the XPG Gamex S70 blade. And now the blade itself, this is the little aluminum heat sink that it comes with, the little heat spreader. You can see there's thermal paste or thermal pads already on the back. And we're not gonna be using this guy just because it's really not going to offer as much cooling. If it was in a PC, something that has a whole whack ton of fans, it may be okay. But in the PS5, I don't think it'll do. So in this little kit here, we have all of the major components that you can see for putting on this heat sink. It's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna walk you guys through this process. And the only thing that I really did off camera was step one and two, which was right here, which was just cleaning off all the debris and the gunk from both the caddies themselves as well as the NVMe. Now you'll also see on the NVMe, trying my best not to touch what I just cleaned off, you're going to see as well that we did rip all of the paper backings off. So if you're by chance skipping through, or I guess I skipped through because my focus sucked the first time, uh, if you guys open the S70 blade, you're gonna notice that there is like a paper label. You're going to have to pull that off because in turn, we're gonna be covering that up with some heat spreaders and some thermal pads. So the very first thing that we're going to do is in this kit, and by the way, links will be in the video description as well for pricing and availability. We're gonna take this guy here, so this is thermal pad number one. We're going to remove the adhesive, and of course, we're going to first apply this to the top side of the NVMe SSD. So, trying my best not to touch it. You're gonna know it's the top side by all of the tracers and whatnot, but also if you look at the teeth here, you're gonna have the littlest part of that comb kind of pointing towards you. Now, this is not terribly sticky, so you can definitely put this on, realign, do all of that stuff, and looking through a camera is a little bit harder than just doing this on my own, but I think we're managing well. So sticky side down, there we go. And you're gonna wanna make sure you have good connectivity. So just go ahead, get rid of all of those little bubbles. Make sure that you've got full contact. And there we go. So step one is done. And watch your finger placement as well, because you're going to wanna make sure that the underside still remains fairly clean as far as fingerprints and stuff like that, just for proper connectivity. So there is step number one. Now we're gonna take the smaller pad, which is this guy here. We're going to also remove that backing. There we go. 
and we're going to put this on the opposite side of the drive. Now again, a little harder for me to do because I'm looking through a camera, but we're gonna manage fine. Like I said, this isn't terribly sticky, so not too hard to realign. And there we go. So smooth that out a little bit, make sure you get good connectivity. You wanna make sure that on your chipsets you don't have a lot of air bubbles as well, so try to get those nice and smooth because those will actually capture heat. And that's a little bit counterproductive compared to what we're actually trying to accomplish today. So there we go. Now, the only thing left to do is again, this is considered the top side. So you're gonna take your bottom part of the housing and this should just rest in there. Now, the only thing to keep an eye on is to make sure that your bottom screw does have enough room to actually screw in there. We're gonna push everything down clean. And then we do have the top heat spreader as well. And we're gonna fit this in and everything fits pretty good. You've got some screw holes right here. We're gonna take those screws, we're gonna apply those and that's nice and lined up. Yes, it is, perfect. Now, in the little baggie, empty these guys out. Feel free to use your own screwdriver. This one's kind of jank, but it is what it is. And... There. And just like that, you guys can see on the camera as well, that we now have our NVMe heat shield on. And this whole thing was like, I mean, the drive itself was like 150 bucks, not the end of the world. But this little caddy here was very cheap. I think I got this for like 11 bucks and it shipped prime, so I got it pretty quickly. It looks pretty much identical to all the branded caddies that I saw and all the branded heat sinks, but this will allow for way more cooling than something like this little aluminum sheet and it's PS5 certified. So we're gonna go ahead, we're going to cut this video off here. This was just the installation because at the end of the day, you don't have to use this in a PS5. You can use this on a motherboard as well, whether or not you have a Gen 3 or a Gen 4 board. You will need, of course, uh, NVMe uh, Gen 4 PCI slot itself if you're using this on a PC to get the optimum speeds. But this was installing a heat shield and we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cut this off. Part number two is gonna be after this included in the playlist, but if you found this installation guide helpful, definitely go ahead and leave a like. Let me know down below whether or not you're using this in a console or on a PC. And until the next part, my name is Quasi Dog. You guys have been awesome, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.